Ahoy, this is Denka. Evodo AI really surprised me. I've created several tutorials on how to use Evodo AI in the last two years. So I've been watching their development for some time now. Besides desktop software and iPad, there is a mobile app now available and they have very big plans for the future. I've seen on their website that they are planning to release Evodo video in the future. They are currently working on it. We will be able to retouch our videos in the same way we retouch our portraits. I can't wait. I am very excited about this one. It's going to be a game changer. Glamour photographers, can you imagine offering a video package matching the editing style to the photos? In this video, I will show you new Evoto AI desktop photo editor features, and I will also walk you through the mobile app. This video is brought to you by Evoto. For those who are not familiar with Evoto AI, this software is primarily built for professionals. So if you shoot portraits, school portraits, sports, fashion, glamour events, weddings, if you are in that category where you take a lot of photos, you might want to check out the software as it is going to save you a lot of time. The link to the software can be found below. I am using beta version 625-92. The first new feature is called AI Culling or Smart Photo Selection. I went ahead and imported several folders. Let's stay on the library page as this is where the AI Culling tool is located. I'm going to scroll down and go to Smart Culling Preferences. Under Event Type, let's select Portrait. Then you have more options below, such as the Best Picks. Limit Total Best Picks is set to 60. Let's leave it as it is. Next are detection settings. Let's keep closed eyes detection enabled. The next setting under exposure detection, overexposure detection, blur detection, and cluster detection have sensitivity options. Let's leave them on standard. Auto tag can be customized. AI best picks are green by default. Let's leave it there. I changed candidates to yellow and gave it three stars. Let's keep not selected on gray. Let's hit start culling. The process has finished. Here are images marked green. That are the AI best picks. Then we have yellow candidates and gray not selected. This really helps speed up the selection process. This panel on the right gives you all grouping information. So you can see exactly how many images are in separate groups. If you shoot weddings, as I used to shoot weddings, and you end up with hundreds of images, this can really help as it can automatically eliminate all the blurry photos or also photos with closed eyes. So it saves a lot of time. Let's finally move on to photo retouching. I picked two photos that serve a different purpose. So they both require a completely different style of retouching. The first one is retouching for modeling portfolio. And the second one is retouching for a glamour client. Portrait retouching has been upgraded as well with better skin texture and lighting control. There are also advanced color adjustments. I just wanted to point it out. If you are a new photographer, you might appreciate what I'm going to explain when it comes to retouching modeling uh, photos, modeling portfolio photos. The girl in a photo is my daughter. We visited several agencies in the summer. Many of them expressed interest. We are thinking about signing with one of them. She has braces now, so she can't start yet, but it's not a bad thing at all because she's in a perfect age category. It takes about one to two years to develop a very strong portfolio. So she has a lot of time to get started. This was her first test shoot I did with her in September. Toronto modeling agencies prefer an extremely clean and natural look with minimal editing. They also love black and white photos. I sat down and spoke with the agent. He gave me very specific instructions. Let me show you how fast you can get this done. I am in AI color adjustment panel where I will first adjust the overall look of the photo. Let's try auto color correction and see what the software thinks. Just like I thought, the software brought the exposure up to brighten the look. I think it's a little bit too much, so I should tone it down a bit with exposure. But let's reset the photo back to the original because what I think I should do is adjust the look of the model separately and leave the background alone as it is already very bright. I don't want to lose details there. 
Let's go to mask control panel. Here she was automatically already selected. I can just go ahead and continue working on her. Let's do minor tune adjustments, such as bringing exposure up, contrast, and brightness. This is before and this is after. I'm going to continue with bringing the highlights a little bit down, but not too much, just a small touch. I will also bring vibrance tiny bit up, but not proceed with color grading, as again, this needs to be very natural and clean. This is all I'm going to do. This is before and after. Let's go to portrait retouching, as this is where the software really excels. The first thing I'm going to do is work with the blush removal tools. Once I zoom in 100%, you can see that there is a bit of acne and the skin could use some improvement. Let's select 50% so we can see the majority of the face. Let's bring up all the way freckles and acne tool and see what happens. Many areas are certainly clean, but again, we have to keep the image as natural as possible. So I'm going to tone down the effect a bit. I'm going to remove most of the freckles removal effect and tone down the acne a bit too to bring some of the texture back. The photo can't be over retouched. Next, I will only slightly remove dark circles and eye bags, only a little bit. The lips are a bit dry, so I will tone down lip wrinkles and flakes. There is a quite strong wrinkle under the lips. Let's tone it down with the perioral wrinkles removal tool. She had a sunburn in the summer, so her body skin needs to be fixed as well. The body blemish removal tool is great for that. I will also bring skin radiance. Let's brighten her eyes a bit with eye white enhance tool. This part you want to keep as natural as possible, so you have to be very gentle with it. Red vein removal can stay though. Catch lights can certainly help to bring her eyes a bit more, but I will ease on that as well. These are all minor adjustments. That is it. This is before and this is after. Once you're done with one photo, you can easily sync it with the rest of the photos. You just select the edited photo and the rest of the photos you want to sync with. Hit sync and now it is going to ask you if you want to add the mask with adjustments or replace. If I had some photos edited differently and wanted to change it, I would select replace. As you can see, you can sync all effects or select only some of them. Let's hit sync. It's all done. This is before and after. This was very natural, minimalistic modeling portfolio retouching. Now let's go to the complete opposite. Glamour retouching. I've done glamour shoots, glamour makeovers for nearly 20 years, and this will really depend on the client you're working with. Some women prefer minimalistic retouching, while others, they want a complete transformation. They want to go all the way. So it's really up to you where you want to draw the fine line. I like the minimalistic retouching too, but I gotta say there were some clients in the past that requested extreme retouching. There were paying clients. You gotta do what you gotta do. To show the possibilities and unlimited tools of Evoto AI, Let's go with extreme. Here is a photo of one of my stock photography models. Let's remove lip wrinkles and flares. Let's enable all facial wrinkles tools. This is before and this is after. What I really like about this software is that even though I enabled all the tools 100%, it's really not overdone. It's still quite gentle. You can still tone down an individual tool. Let's move to skin retouching. Let's enable sculpt dodge and burn tool, textured smoothing and skin softening. This is what we have so far. Let's play a bit with face shape tools. This software lets you control absolutely every single body part. All possibilities are here. You can move the face up and down. Let's slim the face down a little bit, adjust the temple, reduce cheekbones and adjust the jawline. Here is before and after. Let's continue with forehead height and chin length. Let's move on to teeth. Let's remove teeth floss. Let's whiten teeth a bit. 
and enable teeth alignment. Here is before and here is after. This is crazy. The tools are here to do absolutely anything, but it's really up to you to know what is acceptable and what's too far. Let's move on to makeup. Let's add on contour. This is before and after. Let's move down to makeup suite. If the makeup is not strong enough, you can enable any of these looks. I actually like this light one. I'm going to bring the amount down so it's not too strong. So if you have a model who is starting out and doesn't know how to do the makeup properly yet, this is where you can fix it, literally. You can also enable makeup effects individually, such as eyeliner. Let's not stop here. Let's go to the hair and change the hair color to this one. For example, let's go to a full body reshape and adjust the waistline a bit as this outfit adds more in that area. Here is before I started and here is after. Again, this is highly overdone. I wouldn't do that to a client unless the client specifically requested this. The goal here was to show the variety of the tools. I was quite curious how the makeup would work with already quite good makeup in the photo, so I pulled out this photo. Take a look. When I just try random makeup looks, it changes quite a bit and quite nicely. I would further tone it down to my liking, but this is, this is great. Pet portrait photographers will be happy to hear that AI pet retouching feature has been added. Now, I don't do pet photography, so I pulled out just a random photo of my dog when he was small. Let's work on this one. Let's go to masking and select pets. Now he's automatically selected. Let's go to pet retouching panel to pull out all tools. You've got here leash removal. He doesn't have a leash, so I cannot use it. I've seen on the Evoto website that this works really nicely. Let's zoom in and bring the eye lighting up a bit. We can also enhance eye color. Let's add some catch lights. Let's see what stray hair removal does. Here is before and here is after. This was the Evoto AI desktop photo editor. Let me show you quickly what the Evoto mobile app looks like. It's only available for Apple phones. This is the homepage with events, hot edits, and learn sections. Let's just go straight to editing. What I want to point out is that here under those three dots, you've got a menu where you can do T3 shooting. So when you connect your camera wirelessly, as you shoot, you can see the photos on the screen and you can also download them to your smartphone. This is just to explain to those who are not familiar with T3 shooting. The mobile app has pretty much the same features as the desktop version. You've got the recommended presets, AI color looks, filters you can apply, basic controls such as black and white tools, white balance, tone tools, and presence. Hue, saturation, and luminance controls are here. Detail where you can sharpen your images or remove noise in the photos, grain controls, and the transform correction, including the AI transform correction tool, color calibration, and curves. When it comes to face and body, all the tools I was using in the desktop version are here as well. You've got here blemish removal, skin retouching tools, facial reshape. Let's just play with moving the face up and down. Let's try face shape. You've got here eye, brows, and eyes control. All smile controls are here and also the teeth control. Let's go to makeup. The makeup studio is here as well. As you can see, it's pretty much the same as the desktop version. And all clothing controls are here as well. I'll link the app below as well for those interested. Give it a thumbs up if you found this video informative and don't forget to subscribe for more. Meanwhile, I'll see you in one of those videos next. Ciao, ahoy.